Hey up viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV and don't get too excited, uh, we're about to start play which is great um, but the covers have been on and I'll give you an update about the weather situation in a second. Yeah there's a spiteful shard of horrible rainy weather moving its way ice age pace from uh, south to north. It's the same bank of weather that's causing disruption currently in the test match in the Ashes. Um, so we could be off here quite quickly. Well, Wheatley will want to get on here because we find ourselves third in the table just over halfway through the 2023 campaign uh, with a bit of a gap between us and the teams below us as well. And there's no guarantee that Bortry with Everton and Anston aren't playing today. So uh, we do want to get on here. Mansfield, Hosiery Mills, on the other hand, are propping up the table. Well, by some glorious miracle, viewer, we're going to have some cricket. Don't know how much, but it's going to be 33 overs a side. Uh, we're starting, well, nearly two hours after the scheduled start of play. Wheatley in the field, John O'Alice opening the bowling. And that is a very good start. <laughs> the mission here for Wheatley, get this wrapped up early uh, before the next band of rain comes along. And so they're off at that. It's him outside the line, I think. It's a big appeal. That's Edge, taken by Dog, and that's one in the first over for Wheatley. That's first ball, and it's really well stopped by Annie. Carl Rutherford opening the bowling from the bungalow end. Toby Smith is in the team, um, but he's probably just protecting his ankles a bit. First run off the bat for that's for Hosiery Mills. I'll call them MHM from now on. It's a super drive. It's saved. Very well. And they get two. Dog up to the stumps already for Jono. Well, she's going to have a go here and <laughs> a bit slippery, we'll, we'll call that one, shall we? Oh, it's been. <laughs> Rifled through the covers for a lovely fall. Slightly uppish. Oh, that's been slammed out, but well stopped by Toby. That's a nice shot. It's gone. Three point. And it's gone over the rope for four. That's up and over the top of mid off, and that's gone for four. Oof. A filthy slash outside off stump, if you'll pardon the expression. Edge through the slits, but Cal's down here at third man, so it'll only be one. Oh, wish he'd stopped it, but um, oh, that's um, <laughs> that's going to be an issue. <laughs> oh, that's in the air, but it's going to. Like potentially, call it a dog. Uh, maybe not though. Oh, yeah, that's a bit more up in the air. Just out of Henry's reach. He's gone behind the side screen, so it'll only be one. Oh, that's an edge, but very low. Dog did well to get a glove on it. That's fine. Well, only. And fine leg, it'll be one. Bowler! 
Straight to Annie. Oh, that's very close. ominous rumble of thunder in the distance here. Oh wow. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. What's that hit? Well it's definitely six. <laughs> what a shot. Well they're looking behind the changing rooms so that doesn't happen here often. They come back for two. That's in the air, but just in front of Annie, it spins past him as well. They take the single. First bowling change, Smith coming on. And they get a single first ball. Rain starting to fall again. Cut away viciously, but well stopped by Annie at point. Umpires are coming together. It's not heavy rain. Um, it was enough to keep us off for two hours, but it's slightly different when you're on the field. Um, the umpires might feel that the pitch needs protecting, and it looks like we're going off, unfortunately. So, MHM in that little mini session of eight overs, just about. I've managed to get on to 40 for one. They were one for one, so it's a good recovery. Um, and we've, it's about 2.30, so we've got about half an hour to play with in terms of uh, what happens next. And I'll update you when that happens. Well, after only five minutes, the rain completely stopped. Um, and just as the lads were coming out to get the covers off again, it started again. <laughs> it stopped again. Come on, lads, quick, quick, quick. Well, after all that palaver, I think we probably could have stayed on, but anyway, here we are. <laughs> Pulled away really nicely through backward square leg. I think it's just about going. Yeah, four. Nudge down to Cal for one. Punch to Henry at mid on. How's a shy? <laughs> Pointlessly. Oh, that was a really good effort. Nice punch. MHM bring up their 50 there, 50 for one. And we're in the 10th over. <laughs> Interesting shot. And they get one in the end. That single brings up the 50 run stand between these two. They're done really well. That's just over the top of Cal. And it's a one. That's a straight to Tommy at first slip, and that's number two for Wheatley. Oh. That's a, it's just gone through everything, and that's four. Tommy didn't fancy that one, I don't think. <laughs> Rain falling again here, viewer. Yeah, Bushy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pushing right, pushing right, pushing right! Pushing right. Oh, there's only one there, boys, only one there! Umpire's having a conflab. This could be all over pretty soon. Looks like they're taking a view.
Stabbed down behind square, and he collects, and it'll only be one. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bat slips over, but he's got what he needs. Four runs. Oh, what a delivery from Cal. That's number three. Heavy rain falling. Toby's toss is blatted. Out three point for four. Yeah. He's bowled him. He wipes out as well, and that's a very casual celebration. <laughs> to go here. Yeah. MHM 69 for four. That's edge taken by dog and that's gone. Oh and is that bold? He's bowled him and Cal's on a hat trick. Well, Wheatley potentially going to pick up the second hat-trick of the season. We're not greedy though, but this would be awesome. No oh, it's a no ball. And I think that had a very good chance of being out as well. Oh, Cal. <laughs> it's a free hit. Um, uh, it's a good effort by Cal. That's a really good finish to an excellent spell by Cal Rutherford. Oh, that's out. Toby coming round the wicket to the new bat. The pair from Toby, turn down. Coming on at the bungalow end, Henry Patterson. Thrash through the covers. It's not going to go. Chano hurls it back in and it's two. There's a super shot. That's going for four. I think Toby's bowled out, so Cal Harrison's coming on with his off spin. Oh, how is that miss? That's edged. That's gone. Up and over, one bounce. Clips really pleasantly off his legs. That's going to the sheep field for four. Bushy appreciated that effort by Toppers there to throw the stumps down. That's well told by Henry. Let it down. I think that's gone for four. That's a nice shot. That's going for four. 
Why hasn't gone? <laughs> Snaffled. <laughs> So the final partnership here for MHM, they are 99 for 9, they were 51 for 1 at one stage. Nice shot, but really well stopped by Annie. Oh, inside Ash, that's gone down for 4. That's 100 up for the visitors. Oh, is that out? No, top bit of work by Dog. Johnny coming back on for a second spell. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> it's another appeal, and Dog gets him. <laughs> so at the end of a truncated innings, MHM finish on 104 all out off 22 overs of their 33 and Wheatley will need 105. They were 51 for one at one stage and uh, Jamie Lomas and Josh Dykes batting really well and then they had a mega collapse um, but they got runs on the board and these are very much bowling conditions. Now you may be aware, viewer, that there is a sporting series called The Ashes going on at the moment. And to the uninitiated amongst you, that's when England play Australia in cricket. And the supporters of each side accuse each other's team of unsportsmanlike behaviour that they themselves have committed. It's a bit of fun. So we wanted to find out a bit more about this mysterious series. And we sent our roving reporter, Jimmy Nixon, and second team opening bowler Reuben Lindsay to Headingley this week to find out a bit more about it. Hey up viewers, Jimmy Nixon here, day two of the Heavenly Test. Day one was fantastic. Woody bowling unbelievable speed. A few drop catches. I think all in all a really good day for England. Uh, and as we try to pull it back at the end, day two is going to be fantastic as well. I'll give you a report at the end of the day. So we're joined by uh, the legend that is Ruben, uh, Ruben Lindsay, who you might know from uh, the second team game. So Ruben's first session in the morning's gone, we're sat in the sky rack at lunchtime. I'm depressed, how are you feeling? <laughs> depressed as well, Jimmy. Uh, Why? Well, it's not really a good morning. Uh, a lot of wickets have fallen, a few good, uh, a few good shots from Moe and Wokesy, but yeah, getting out cheaply. What's your opinion of this bad ball, Robert? It's stupid. Good. Right, you can't so. be playing bad ball when you go just three and a half and over, it doesn't make sense. Exactly. Right, we'll be back later on for another update. So back home after a long day at the test match, uh, day two. Um, I think if you'd uh, asked me at lunchtime what I thought, um, I would have told you that uh, we need to chuck this buzz ball out the window. Some horrendous um, wickets that we chucked away. Uh, but again, the uh, the mighty Stokes, the two Durham lads, Stokes and uh, Woody. Woody getting a 6-4-6 six, six, and then Stokes getting up to 80 runs again, Got pretty much got us on par. Uh, and then, yeah, we, we're um, back in the game, about 50-50, I think. So I'm uh, back at Wheatley tomorrow, um, so I won't be there for day day three, but, um, uh, yeah, I'm sure Pecky will update you on where we're at. Uh, and um, I'm off to bed. We've got Bushy and Toppers only up for Wheatley. Bushy facing first. It's Wheatley off the mark. All the way by Bushy, and get all of that. There are three men after it, including one from the offside. <laughs> and it's a two. A bit firmer that time of Bushy, it's found mid wicket. It's in the air though, it was um, oh, dragged back in and Toppers is off the mark, rather streakily. 
That's cut away. Toppers plays that shot very nicely indeed. That's four. That's another super shot by Toppers. He's pierced the infield. Oh gosh. <laughs> he's done really well out there. And he's kept it to two. Oh, is that out? It's an intriguing one. No, says the umpire. Oh, hang on, no, he's going to go and have a chat. And that's out. Tom Waterfield, new man in. And that has been crunched through the covers. I don't think it's going to go. They've uh, brought it back in. And they trot a two. Brain falling again here, viewer. Oh, and again. This is great bowling. Oh my goody aunt, <laughs> that is a good leave. <laughs> that's flick fine, that'll be four. Oh, that's gone straight up in the air, but that is coming back here for four. Skittish start here from Bushy. It's well bowled. more like it from Bushy. That's a Bush push. Through extra cover for four. Tom has absolutely leathered that for six. Five overs gone. Wheatley are on 35 for one. That's really nicely played by Bushy. And they come back, and that was close. It's a lovely shot by Bushy. Come on. That's a really lovely shot by Tom. Got steered. Three point, and they come back for two. That's coming our way. That's six. Sanjay Sridhar coming on as the first change for MHM. For the first time today, the sun is almost out. Straining to be out, but out nonetheless. Shot by Tom. And that too brings up the Wheatley 50 in the ninth over. That's gone fine, that'll go for four. That's a really super clip off his pads. That's four. Cut away by Tom. That's uh, the exact mirror image of his previous shot. Brilliant. Fielding out there stops it from going for four. That's top stuff. Oh, it's gone through mid off. And it's collected, it's one. Shooting, Thomas. Lovely shooting. It's gone out for one to long off. After an excellent spell by Mr. Lamas, we've got a change of bowling at this end. 11 overs gone. Wheatley is 67 for one. 
Tom on 25, Bushy on 24. Oh, that's gone high. And it's taken. Here's Tongi. Oh, oh <laughs> slipped there, but he gets off the mark first ball. The peel. Why out? It's uh, down. Fine, and it'll go for four leg buys. That's edged by Tongi, it's coming down here, and that'll be four. Good stop by the keeper. Oh dear, that's a wild one. It's brilliantly stopped at slip, actually. 25 to get here for Wheatley. And. That will probably be 20 to get. No, it's leg buys. Uh, 21. Oh, that's going down. That has been absolutely crunched by Tommy. <laughs> Cheers, mate, <laughs> for four. Been drilled and brilliantly stopped diving to his left at mid on. 19 overs to go, 13 runs to win for Wheatley. Bit of leg spin. And that's pushed out by Tom for an easy one. That's well played by Tommy, well bold. Being smashed out by Tongi. Won't go. And they set up for one. Oh, Tom comes down the track. Doesn't get all of it. It's gone through the man out there. And it's only one. Poked out by Tom for another single, I fancy. Yeah. Tom goes up and over, one bounce, four. That lovely shot moves Tom on to 40. Wheatley past the 100 and there's four runs to win here. Driven out by Tom, that won't be four. And they'll set off a one there. Tom smears that through mid-wicket. Out to the boundary, and it's only one. Tossed up. Tommy takes the bait and nails a four, and Wheatley win. Well, that's a commanding victory for Wheatley. Our uh, winning run might have been ended in that pulsating, jaw-dropping tie last week, but our unbeaten run uh, continues to seven matches. Wheatley maintain the pressure on Bortry with Everton and Anston at the top of the league, the latter of whom we're playing away next week. So, hope to see you there, viewer. Until then, all the best.